Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah, Chef PV, uh, Team B Rotor, Zero Ground FPV, 500 below, all this stuff. Um, check it out. Today, I am talking about YouTube uh, and putting music in your videos. So, there's a couple of different things to start real quick. First of all, if you're monetizing videos, I could be wrong with this, but I believe there's no way to add any mainstream music or any licensed music to monetized videos without obtaining the license. And what does that mean? It means you have to buy the song. You have to pay the artist and say, I want to use your song. Give me permission. And they literally give you permission with a written form. If you are to then upload that, which I have done this, by the way, I have a video on our 500 Below site that the artist wanted us to use their song. And we actually had a headache trying to figure out how to get them to um, not continually take it down. Eventually, I finally got them documentation from the artist that said, please let this guy use my song, uh, basically. And it worked. So we now no longer get hit on that video on my 500 Below channel. Um, but um, I don't use mainstream music. And people have asked me why I don't use full-on content music. Um, basically, I'm lazy, man. I love making content because I love sharing my experience not because it makes me anybody special, not because people know me for who I am, not at all. I do that because I enjoy helping other users find answers in what I've experienced. It's what I do. So when it comes to like editing and all that, I get some decent edits done, but I'm lazy. I don't really spend too much time. More recently, I've been kind of trying to piece together and, and kind of edit the the music and the, then the video to kind of really match and kind of change it up. But I'm really all about full on experience. And it's one of the reasons why I do full pack edits. You know, I just, I'm, I drop it in. I find a song I like that goes with the flow and I put it in there. Funny enough, like seven out of 10 times, it matches up pretty dang close with some sort of music. And I think that speaks more to like a, a pilot's kind of personal flow and the way they fly. I think if you're, pack can line up with a music and a song in a way that makes it feel like it fits without any editing i don't know i just think that speaks to your skill and like the again kind of like your your flow you got flow homie so anyways all that being said what do i use on your screen you see what i use i use audiojungle.net there are other royalty-free sites. I have used uh, freeplaymusic.com, which is great. It's like the number one YouTube music source um, and some other sites. But for me, for the bare bones and what it does and the ability to basically upload and monetize a song and if something happens, literally be able to type a message in and say, hey, look, I paid for it and have proof if they ever ask, which they haven't. Um, Audiojungle.net just works. And so what happens is, I go to Audio Jungle and I find a song I like. So, you know, I might find, let's see. Um, I usually go to music. Music packs are not what I buy. Music packs are individual clips that you put together to form different songs and stuff. Kits and packs, or I'm sorry, kits are individual uh, loops and hooks and stuff like that. Music packs actually are not too bad. They're going to be um, kind of packages of multiple either versions of a song or multiple songs that kind of like work together, multiple loops. Um, but I typically will actually just go for full on music. So you go to music and you pick which category you want and all that. And it's actually pretty cool because you can pick, you know, what do I want? I want... Um, Let's go with some, let's just go with some rock, right? I want some rock and you could go with the tags. You could go with price. So $7. So I want to start with everything seven to 23. We'll do that. Length of time though is where I really do um, what I really want, which is I typically will not go for anything under four minutes. So I'll just put four minutes and then I put whatever the max that they show vocals. You want vocals. Do you not want vocals tempo? You can choose tempo looped or not all that and so i then can search for each of these and now what will come up will only be the things that fit those categories so i can then listen to it what's up dude and then i can listen to and find the song that i want audio jungle 
Now, once I find it and I buy it, I can check out, and yes, it does cost money. I typically spend about $18 to $21 on a song. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not because I use those songs over and over and over again. So here are the songs that I've recently purchased all the way back. I mean, it goes pretty far. Um, and you can see that as I buy it, it basically I build up a collection. And so now I've got, you know, 20 songs, 30 songs that I can choose from at any given time and use. And I can come back and re-download. And when I do download, I can download the certificates and license or just the main files. So all of this culminates in the fact that if you were to get hit by YouTube and say you're being, you know, you you're being um dinged for using licensed content monetizing or whatever all i ever do literally is type in the words i purchased this song on audio jungle using the appropriate license and i hit send it asks you are you sure is this real you put in your name for a signature i send it and within 24 hours usually it gets released and i'm good to go i've never had one de denied after buying it on audiojungle.net so it works. I don't have to do anything other than just put it on my video, upload it, and sit back and wait. And basically, I got hit for one or two songs in particular, I guess, that it was finding and the bots were saying, hey, look. Um, and it, every time I used that song for about three or four times, it would do it. But after about the fourth time of me sending them the license or saying that I had the license, they don't even ding me anymore. Like that song I can use over and over and over again. So that's how I do it, man. Hope I helped. Um, you guys just keep flying, putting out content. I love to watch it. Fly safe, fly smart. Just fly.